To chair this session on the Hindu script, we have four distinguished speakers and one and a half hours time. That means that each of you will have exactly 21 minutes. If you speak more, you will have less time for questions. And uh, I'll give a warning five minutes before you have to stop and another warning when you have one minute left. And uh, questions can be only one minute long. So, uh, first we have Dr. Airavata Mahadevan who will speak on Aham and Puram, address signs of the Hindu script. Please. <laughs> Ungal Aniverkum in Vanakum in the Chopoiway Angelatil Nihirta Ungalodi Anumadi non Katapolhiri. Mr. Chairman, Professor Asko Purpola, and distinguished delegates, I rise to present my paper on Aham and Puram, address signs of the Indus script. Since the time is limited, if any one of you want to have a copy of the full paper, you can collect it from the exhibition, Indus exhibition there. They will give you the printout. Here I have distributed one sheet summary. Next. This is a preliminary announcement of a new identification of a frequent opening sign in the Indus script. This sign, which you see number three below, that is a new announcement today. It is a crescent moon and it is identified through the rebus technique, that is phonetic transfer, as representing the outer city. Now that is the principal item of the talk, but I am prefacing it with two other identifications of the city as a whole, the inner city, so that the whole thing is placed in proper perspective. You have a one-page summary of the whole talk. The city of four quarters is identified as Pardi. Please note the title, Broad Interpretation. It is not Proto-Davidian Reconstruction. It is not Phonetic Decipherment. It is an Ideographic Interpretation. So. Number one is city of four quarters, the planned city. I shall explain how. Number two is the inner city of the citadel, the power center of the Indus civilization. The city of four quarters, Pari. The inner city is Aham. The outer city is Puram and people who live there are Pirar. Please note, that the first two, two signs are interpreted ideographically and the third sign by the technique of rebus. Next. Now by way of evidence, I give you the corroboration by the near identical parallels from the Egyptian script. The first one on the top, the Egyptian sign and the Indus sign are identical. Both of them mean city. The second, the middle one, again the two are identical. In the Indus, in the Egyptian, it stands for a house or a great house. And in the Indus script, it stands for the fortified citadel. The third is the Egyptian sign for crescent moon. And the Indus sign is given by the side. And here, the crescent moon, the Dravidian word is Pirai, from which I take the word Pira and Pura. Next. Now, the Harpan city is 
a meticulously planned and highly conscious architectural, architectural creation with its grid-like streets oriented towards the four cardinal directions and with a fortified citadel on a high artificial terrace to the west. Now I place before you three pictures. A. This is the walled city of the Bronze Age. It is known throughout the ancient world. It is called the Quartered Circle and this motif is called by the Harappan archaeologists as the intersecting circles, the characteristic Harappan ceramic design and if you go to the exhibition you will see those designs as wall tiles and floor tiles. The B is the Egyptian sign. It is derived from A. It means city. And C is the Indus sign which occurs in three forms. It can be rhombus, square or oval. So it means a city with four blocks intersected by four streets within a madil compound wall. So this is the city of four quarters. Next. I'll briefly explain how I identified the old Tamil and old Kannada have preserved a Dravidian expression which means both city and planning. Now Pari city or town in Tamil, Pari in Kannada, row, line, regularity, order. Now this is the linguistic evidence for interpreting the Indus sign, the city of four quarters as Pari in Dravidian. I do not mean to say that Pari was the word in Harappa. It is a Dravidian root. It is subject to Dravidian reconstruction or changes in various languages. But the basic idea of a town and a planned town meet at the word Pari. Now the identification is not based merely on etymology or Dravidian etymological dictionary. It is supported by frequent references in Tamil Sangam poems to Pali, an ancient and prosperous city of the Tamil world in clan, and explain these are the people who migrated from Harappa to Deccan and the Tamil country. Next. Now, another explanation of the same city of four quarters, non Kudal, Madurai, the capital of the Pandyas was also known as Kudal or more fully non Kudal, junction of four terraces. If you look at the picture, you will see the description of non Kudal, city of four quarters is identical to the Indus ideogram. Next. Madirai, the walled city. Here I introduce a, a new interpretation that the ancient name of Madurai was Madirai as in the Tamil Brahmi cave inscription. Even the Chola inscription say Madiraiyum, Iramam, Konda, Kopara, Kesari, Vadmara, etc. So, it, according to me, it is based on the Dravidian root Madir plus the suffix I. Madirai means walled city. Now note Madilu, Madilu in Telugu, Maduru, Konda, Madru. And it is also equivalent to not only the walls, but